So we've got another one. I don't know if these are releasing stateside or not. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. In case you missed the last one, that was the women's Jordan 5 Gore-Tex. That's the one where like they've been released overseas. Are they ever reaching stateside? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think these should come stateside. The Gore-Tex? These ones. Oh really? Why? They're not it. Okay. Well, I will go over my theories as to why they maybe have not yet, but in the meantime, What's good guys, my name is Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on these. Not calling them bad boys this time. I think that these are ugly, but this is the Air Jordan 9 in the, what are they calling these? Poop. <laughs> Damn. Not holding anything back there. But no, uh, I actually don't remember what they're calling these. These are like the Olive Concords or something like that. I don't no, but anyways, this is a brand new colorway playing on an old colorway, aka an original colorway. And uh, I don't not like them or anything, but it's just the stuff that they've done to them. Like, I'm just kind of like, why did you do this? And then on top of that, there's some craftsmanship issues, which are going to lead me into my theories as to why we might not see them anytime soon. They're selling B grades overseas. Okay, so that I'll bring in another theory that I think is very weird and we'll get into everything as quickly as possible and as cohesively as possible. We'll see. So be quiet peanut gallery well i wasn't going to bring up what, <laughs> what you had just mentioned but right wouldn't that be what they're doing i guess i'll just say this first then okay so i bought these from goat mainly because i you know like we we have like our local mom and pop shops here we also have uh, our regular retailers like our big box stores like foot lockers and things like that but anyways i was asking them when these are coming in because these were supposed to have released already they had told me like oh our order were canceled and i was like really that's that's weird and so i went back on to goat and i went and grabbed a pair real quick just to review not knowing if they were going to be officially canceled or not and i don't believe that they will be but i do believe that there is some quality control issues on the shoes and everything just because the shoes like even in the marketing like if you would look at the back the backs are crooked the 23s and stuff like that and that's always like I honestly I find it funny because it's like you really couldn't find a good pair to use for your promo images and now that I got these in it's like maybe not because uh yeah the shoes uppers are just like placed crooked on I don't know how well this is gonna a lot of times you can't see what I'm actually seeing you have to like see them in person and in hand on camera Things look a little bit different. Sometimes they look better, sometimes they look worse. This one is okay, like this left one's not bad, but it's this right shoe. And that was the one in the promo images too. It's like the right shoe was like, I was like, what, what is that? And now that I have them, I'm just like, did who put this together? Like the whole thing is going like this. Are these going to be released? Honestly, yes, cause they've been made. So Nike's not gonna take that big of a loss. Are they gonna show up at retailers? I don't know. I can see them doing a couple of things. It's kind of like, uh, what was that last shoe that got, oh, the Kyrie's where like they got canceled, the Kyrie eights, right? So like those will eventually release in outlets. They're not going to take a huge fat L on that. These same thing. I think that we might see these in outlets before we start seeing them really hit retailers. But for all I know that maybe they postpone the date so that they can go through all of the items and try their best to pick the best ones to then reallocate towards retailers. But that's just a theory. Now, as far as the shoe itself goes, this is what I believe is being called. I just can't remember. I haven't seen them promote the shoe in a minute. I believe this is called the Olive Concords, but basically it's a play on the original Air Jordan 9 olive colorway, a colorway that is not my favorite, I'll be honest, but I know that it has its following. That shoe has not re-released in quite a while. So even I was like, why are you putting this out before that? So anyways, it basically looks very similar to the original Olive Air Jordan 9, but it's a little bit different. I don't think that it looks exactly like the Olives. The Olives had like more of a greenish hue to the brown. This looks like brown, like she was alluding to the poop reference. This is where like, I feel like the brand needs to do a way better job at like telling customers like what is the inspiration behind this? Cause I see this and either I think NBA starter jackets or I'm thinking Nike ACG line. And that's like the only thing that comes to mind. I thought it was the Hornets. Which is what brings me to the starter jacket like it looks like the Charlotte Hornet starter jacket. Not that they were black and brown, but just the colors accenting the, the Concord and the teal. Is that what they're actually alluding to? Obviously, nobody knows because their marketing sucks. They just expect you to consume because they put it out there. 
Now, as far as the product itself goes, the traction, typical Air Jordan 9 outsole here. Obviously, this shoe pays homage or homage to the globalization of the game of basketball. So that's what every little aspect of this shoe is all about. You have different languages. You got the globe. You've got different symbols like the kanji on there. You got 1994. Obviously, that's when the shoe originally released. You got a little hint to the Air Jordan 5 there, which I've always thought was weird. And then we've got what I think is awesome. I just love the way that this looks, this 23 with the Jumpman logo in there. I just, it looks really really cool it looks hella 90s and i love it also they have the world or the Jumpman globe symbol at the base of the pull tab and everything and again paying homage to the globalization of basketball this shoe was designed as the barcelona olympics were happening so a lot of shoes are designed two years prior and then it takes a long time to obviously make the molds to get everything made then get wear test samples done any change orders need to be done yada 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 so it's not a quick and easy process so this shoe was designed when the Jordan 7 was released, hence all of this other stuff, then he went and decided to retire and play baseball and everybody's like, well, what the f are we gonna do with this thing? Slap a cleat on it and put it on him while he's playing those baseball games. And now people think that this was originally designed as a baseball cleat, that's not true. Now, as far as the tech specs are concerned, it's got a polyurethane midsole. Inside of that midsole is an encapsulated air sole unit, both in the heel and forefoot. The insole is a white Dream Cell. Believe it or not, these feel better than the black ones. I give Dream Cell a hard time. They are better than the regular blue ortholite stuff, but they are not better than the true, real, like dense polyurethane insoles that come with original retros and some of the original models. The materials are... Uh... <laughs> The brown is decent. It's a new buck. It's all right. It's not anything crazy. The black leather though, this is where I'm just like, you know, this feels like plastic, man. For 200 bucks, come on, really? And I know that the price increases, at least right now, are not reflective or supposed to be reflective upon the product's quality, even though as a consumer, that's what we see, that's what we think, that's what we feel. Instead, we could blame all of the price increases on all of the resellers and all the people that bought from them because they were making like three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to a few thousand per shoe. And Jordan Brand's kind of like, well, why aren't we making that? So I understand. Now, as far as the weird changeup goes with the uh, Concord being a replacement for the red, it was never my favorite colorway anyway, so I really have no feelings towards it. Uh, I do want to know what you guys think though. Like, is this something that you're like, yes, this is awesome. It's a new fresh look on a favorite colorway of mine. Or is it one of those things where it's like, hey, I never liked the original Olive Nines, but now I do. Or are you like, F you guys, where the f are the Olive Nines at? What the hell is this? I'm really curious. Now, as far as the sizing is concerned, you can do one of two things. One, you can go true to size. They will fit. They fit me perfectly. However, there is an internal booty sleeve in there and right at the pinky toe, it's missing like a hole in there. It's like a like a Lycra sock and everything. Very similar to what they do with the Air Jordan 6 and 7. And uh, with that little hole in there, your pinky toe will chafe the interior lining or the backing, which is like a nylon material of the leather. So it's a pinky toe killer, at least for me. So to combat that, I would recommend going up half a size. But again, if you go true to size, you should be good to go. And with all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think about these down below in the comments comment section. Are you here for this? Or are you not? Is this one of those shoes that you're passing on? I'm definitely interested. I don't think that they're awful. I think that they look okay. They just don't look like the original. And it's kind of weird that they would put this out instead of that. But again, I understand like releasing new stuff to keep things fresh. I just wish that like this would follow the original, especially because I know that there's so many fans that want the original back and I want them to be happy. I don't like seeing everybody cry about stuff like me. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. We'll see you later. So until next time, have a good one.